Hey friend, hey, welcome or welcome back. I am Sharina. Y'all, I did exactly what apparently the TikTok mailman um, told us not to do because he can't stand it, he don't like it, and that's exactly what I did. And I made a purchase. Think y'all could like chill out on the Timu website like a little bit? Just a little bit for me. I'm tired of this Timu shit. Y'all killing me. Every day is Timu, Timu, Timu. I'm Timu tired, all right? Damn, they put all 17 items you just ordered in one big ass bag. Shit be awkward, heavy than a motherfucker. Then if you ain't home, where I'm supposed to hide this bright ass orange bag? Oh. So yeah, let's get right into these items. First things first, yes, I am coming to you as a wild woman because Y'all, it's the summertime. I have very thick hair. Blow drying my hair is a whole task. In the summertime, I am hot. And while I like cool down my hair, I don't know, relaxes and stop being so difficult, we gonna do this whole So when you purchase from Tumi, they put everything in a orange bag that says Tumi, <laughs> which apparently it's the problem because uh they they put all your items in one little bag and here's the thing i thought that because i thought i think i ordered one two three i think i ordered four or five things and most of them are like decently small but i thought like i got this right and yes baby the boxes are gonna come however they get to you um but i got this and this is the size of the box so i thought that this was my whole package you know this was just this and then they had everything else like stacked on the side of it put in the bag i'm not too mad about their shipment like it, it's giving um we gotta do what we gotta do to get you these products so you order five things i'm gonna put this here i'm gonna um tetris everything else and we gonna roll this bag up and we gonna uh tape it down but you you gonna get you gonna get what you order now this is how the box looks if you can see your your girl got here on a wing and a prayer but she got here i have not opened anything yet um mainly because i knew i was doing this video i just opened the bag to make sure i got everything um, this is my first time. This is my first time purchasing with them. And I didn't spend much because I didn't know how long it was gonna take. Whatever, whatever. So I was like, no, I'm not I'm not giving you too too much. But I did need this, and this was in my Amazon cart. But um at Tumi, it was like $13. And the thing with Tumi is the like I have the app, and um, towards the end I'll definitely give y'all a code that you can use to get a discount because um, the girls like discounts around here. And um, but you have to download the app to use the code, I do believe. Anyway, um, the thing with Tumi though is their prices change. So like if. Um, if you see something and it's like $15, check back. Well, I would add it to my cart and then check back because it's a possibility that it, it might go down, you know, a dollar or two. And, you know, you can go ahead and snatch it then. Because when the prices start going down, so does the, um, so does the, the quantity count. So it may end up being sold out. So as the price starts dropping, go ahead and get it, girl. But anyway, first item is the hair curler. Um, I needed a, uh, what is this? A crimper. Y'all, I have never had a crimper. Like never, when I say never, like, I was that girl in like high school and middle school who had like the, you know, the thick, what was it, like the one inch or whatever it is, um, hair curler. And I would just make my own crimp it's not like i did it much so it was like i didn't really need this because i didn't do it much but i kind of want to try something new so let's plug okay, it up so it says 
not in Celsius. It says 210 Celsius and 180 Celsius, which means you're supposed to add 32 to get the Fahrenheit. Not, not I gotta do math. What in the world? Okay. So while I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up and while this is um, heating up, I'm gonna put it on uh, uh, maybe the lowest. What is that? Two. Two twelve. This two twelve Fahrenheit, I do believe. Um, so two twelve or what did I say? Thirty two. So two forty two. So two forty two or two. Child, whatever. I just see it. Um. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do it on a, we're gonna do it on the lowest first. Uh, Cause I, like I said, I just washed my hair. So let's try this out. Oh, and it does have the uh, kickstand, or at least that's what I call it. I have to come back and let you know if it shuts off, shuts off on its own because it has uh, the number, it has the number here and then a, and then zero, which means off, because when you do that, the light goes off, and then the number. So I'm thinking this does not automatically cut off, which I'm gonna just have to remember to unplug it because all my other hair stuff cuts off on its own. So I'm not, I typically just get ready and go out the door and everything else just shuts off on its own. Or nine times out of 10, I'll just unplug it. So I'm probably just gonna, I will most definitely have to remember to unplug this because um, it does not look like it shuts off. Oh, it says for fine hair, do 180. And for coarse hair, do 210. I'm gonna try it on 180. Knowing my hair ain't fine, but <laughs> we gonna try it today. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about auto shut off. Um, yeah, so I would say when in doubt, uh, you know, put it on zero or unplug it. Anyway, moving on to the next. The next thing I got is the uh, wig band. But I really got this just for edges. So lay my edges down. And then I also got it because I just don't have one. So, and it was like 50 cents. So it's just your regular Velcro, um, elastic, boom. I really think this was like 50 cents. Um, so why not, why not, why, you know, why not? Why not get it? All right, next is, ooh, this heat. Oh my gosh, that's 180? Oh, I feel this heat. Um. Okay, something is pink. Oh, are these glasses? I don't remember what I bought. Oh, yeah. Glasses. I got them in pink. I guess I did. So I got these glasses. Just for the sake of throwing on yes these are pretty cute this is giving um i'm focused on getting shit done that's what these are giving it's, it's giving spelling bee champ it's definitely giving she's studying for those degrees and going to obtain them um yeah so got these pink glasses and oh okay okay now i remember so these are supposed to be which i don't know if you can tell these are supposed to be the um blue light glasses i thought it was these but no it's these these are the blue light glasses so i um work from home i have a laptop and two monitors in my face and i be having my own personal laptop right there too so i have four screens in my face i also have my um stand for my cell phone right here so 
cell phone laptop laptop two monitors yes your girl be doing way too much for eight hours it makes no sense but i have something playing over here or i'll have my tv on but lately i i don't want to cut the tv on i don't know why so i just have my laptop and i'll have like a youtube video or a podcast plan on that and i'll be working on my laptop and the two monitors and then i just have my cell phone for the continuous conversations with my friends who also work and they just want to talk to people because they don't care to talk to their co-worker and i don't have any co-workers because my co-worker is a teenager that stays in his room so anywho um we have, I have, well, on my desk, I have all that going on, which I'm sure is not great for my eyes, but child, I already wear contacts. I've been wearing glasses since I was 10, okay? I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. So, it, was I really worried? No, I wasn't. But they say you should have blue light glasses. And I was like, oh, okay, well, if Tumi got some and they're cute, these can be my work glasses, okay? Y'all got y'all reading glasses. I got my work glasses. And I think these were like three bucks, two bucks, something. Um, I'll definitely try to make sure I can put something on the screen though. I really gotta check those though. Like, how do you know they blue light for real? Like, I don't see, like, how do you know? How do you know glasses are blue light? It just said blue light and I bought them, but are they? Like, what's the difference? Um, and I also got these just, just for fun, for absolutely fun no real reasoning um i can say that this is very flimsy this is <laughs> i mean like it's it's sturdy but the way it looks is can y'all see like it's it's giving cheap it, it is it's just the way the look of it is just kind of cheap but it's okay it's okay like everything sometimes you just want to throw something on you know throw something on and run a target Cause where else we going? We gonna go to Target though. They're cute though. They're they're cute. You know, I'm just outside. I just need some glasses, especially if you're like I I like glasses like this, and it's kind of giving me like I don't know rainbow maybe like it's kind of giving me like those. I would say less expensive type glasses that you just want to put on. You want to be cute. You want to run errands. You want to, you know, whatever you're doing that day. But I'm not going to be pissed if I leave these at Target. I'm not going to be upset. I mean, I am because I just don't like losing shit. But, like, I'm not going to be that mad, um, you know, if I, I don't know. For some reason, I just want to give y'all an example of target i guess targets on my mind but you know if you leave these in targets cart or if you for some reason put it on a shelf like we we be too comfortable at target we, we really do um but if you're grocery shopping like i wouldn't be too too pissed off um if i lost these like i have some sunglasses that i had for I don't know a year or two they were really good sturdy glasses sunglasses decently dark real cute shape got them from a black owned boutique y'all i went over a family member's house and i ain't seen them glasses ever since and i still think about those glasses to this day why because i love those glasses and they were like, I don't know, $20, $30. I don't know what they were. But either way it goes, I, I like if they can come back to me, I'll, I'll take them back today. Because I still think about those glasses. I don't know if I'll be that, that pressed about these. Like, no. But I do think you should have sunglasses like this, like in your arsenal, like in your sunglass case. Um, everything don't need to be Gucci, Burberry, Fendi because if you go certain places and it's a possibility you might lose them um, I don't know you buy water and they fall off like you're gonna be pissed when it comes to um, designer type stuff sometimes you just need those inexpensive glasses or shades and I think these are pretty cute like to me might just be the place to go for like some cute little shades 
throw them in and, and go. They're pretty cute. And then last, uh, lastly, I been eating like these because I don't know how long do y'all like I buy these from Target oh it's child it's one mm, mm, mm. Mm. see what I was gonna say don't even make sense no more um <laughs> So it's one glove. Um, I'm recording on my phone, so I can't even tell y'all the prices. I think I, I really hope this was a dollar. I really, really hope it was. Um, I, I really was thinking it was two um, in here, but it's only one. So what I was gonna say is, I buy these from Target, and they're four dollars. And I know you can get them at the dollar store. But the dollar store has uh, like a coconut scent or something on their gloves. And I hate that smell. I do not like that smell. Love the gloves. I just hate the smell. So I started buying the Target ones because Target does not have a scent on it. Um, but they're $4. And it's like, I'm not about to, keep, like, do I throw them out every 30 days? I kind of feel like when you're scrubbing the skin off your body and then you're you know like rubbing it over the water to get the glove clean but after so long like how long are we supposed to keep those like shouldn't we throw them away so i was gonna get a pack on amazon but then i saw oh they had these in to me thinking it was an inexpensive set when really it was just one so that's kind of dumb um i might have to go back and see if they have a set and buy sets or I might just have to switch to that um what is it called like the mesh it's like a mesh a mesh strip um and those are so like those are like a dollar or two like they're not that expensive but depending on where you get them from and what store you buy them from they be trying to put a little a little cost on them and them little mesh strips they ain't never been like what are they like two bucks maybe like is some people trying to sell them for way more like stop 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 it that ain't even inflation that is you banking on ignorance and maybe a little bit of greed ain't nobody stupid the, those are like uh african mesh uh i don't know the damn name of them but whatever the name is like them things have been around they ain't nothing new but because you know social media makes things popular folks trying to put a price on stop stop it anywho so back to this this is hot this is hot <laughs> like for this to be 180 like i from right here i feel the the heat on my face this is hot um but let's go ahead and since they talking about 184 thin hair let's see this plug not that um this plug not that long i'm really not trying to do like the deepest curl because as you see it'll look crazy like my hair not done and I, I had no plans to sit here and crimp it either I don't know either I'm not giving it enough time it's a little bit of a wave as much as I feel this heat I, I really feel like um, they might be right about that coarse hair. They might be right. They might be. It's like a subtle crimp, but this is not going to last in my hair. This is not going to last. This, this will fall. This is not going to last. Ooh. okay it's it's cute 
so it's pretty but that's not gonna last in my hair mm -mm. nope it's gonna fall especially because i would like separate it i wouldn't keep it together like that so i don't know let's take it up let's take it up okay, so as i'm sitting here waiting i just realized there is no indicator to let you know that it that it's um hit the desired heat so we're just gonna see i also need to move this before i burn my forehead I mean, it has a cramp. I feel like it, well, no, I don't know. A, a part of me kind of feels like maybe I should straighten my hair and then do this. Another part of me feels like, no, maybe it looks just fine. Like maybe it's, maybe it's actually okay. I guess it depends on what I'm going for that day. And also keep in mind that my hair is pretty greasy. My hair is kind of greasy right now because I just wash it and I put uh, hair food grease on it right after I blow dry it. But I don't know. I guess it de depends on like the preferred look you're looking for, but technically it is crimped. I know in this state, my hair isn't gonna hold this. Like, I feel like this is already coming down already. Like, my hair not gonna hold this. It's not. I would have to flat iron my hair and then crimp it. And uh, it would have to be like a, a low, humid day for my hair to behave. For my hair to behave. Um, and try to hold those or you know put some spritz some type of hold on it I definitely would have to do that but I mean for the most part it's I'm not mad I'm not I'm not mad I'm not mad it's $13 there's no indicator that um, it's hot other than the light is on so you know it's on but you don't know that it's reached its designated um, temp and other than that, I mean, be smart about it. <laughs> be be smart about it. Uh, it can be a fire hazard. Be smart about it. For $13, I'm going to say I'm not that mad about it because it's not like something I was trying to use every day anyway. So I'm not too mad about it not really mad about my purchase at all um i'm kind of th this one kind of got me though this one kind of got but i really think it was like a dollar or two or something i don't know i just really thought it was a set but you know it's probably my fault because lord knows if i read anything before i added that to my cart so <sighs> you win some you lose some overall yeah. Um, I'm absolutely fine with my Timo um, purchase. I think shipping wise, it took maybe a week and a half. I think maybe like a week and a half to get my items. I did notice um, on the app that they had like once you place your order it kind of like starts the clock and they have a um they have like this timer for themselves so if you they try to do uh, where you receive your purchase within 10 days and if you don't receive it within 10 days they give you a five dollar credit so that keeps them accountable i appreciate that I appreciate that. I wasn't really looking for nothing like, oh my gosh, I need it right now. Um, so I just kind of placed the order. I do believe I only spent like 20 bucks on the stuff. Um, 
Timu is a place where you can just shop and buy stuff. So be careful. Um, Cause you literally can get anything and everything. I honestly am going to go back and look for storage organizers um, for like the in drawer storage organizers, the stuff for the kitchen. Like there, a lot of that stuff is like below five dollars. And my friend was uh, talking about how she was organizing her vanity set and she was trying to figure out you know what to get and where to shop and I'm like I know I just saw that stuff on Timu so yeah um because I was helping her look for stuff and I was sending her links that put it in my head like yeah I, I this is where I'm gonna go for my storage stuff um because one Ikea is nowhere close to me like it's a drive and no also like i said a lot of stuff is like well i'd say probably like less than seven dollars in their storage um organ organization category so yeah yeah your girl will be pulling up there for that um but i did notice they do have a shipping um kind of like timer to keep themselves accountable so you get your stuff within 10 days i appreciate that I also noticed on their app that they have this price adjustment now I ain't gonna sit here and lie and say I completely understood um however I saw it so when you place your order I think I just went back to check I don't know I think I was checking like the track the, the uh, package and I happen to see like it says um price adjustment so if you purchase something in any of the items you purchase the price goes down which in, within 30 days which is highly possible highly possible the the price will go down within 30 days um they will give you that difference which i really appreciate but however where i was a little confused and if if you're watching this and you've purchased from to me before um, and you figure this out, please leave something in the comments to help me out. Cause I couldn't understand like, where's the button to push so that if anything I purchased within 30 days, like they already know, hit Sharina with that credit. I couldn't figure that part out. That's the part I, I wasn't understanding. Like, okay, I see that you're giving me the information, but where, where do I click? And then now that my items have actually been delivered, I haven't been back on the app. So maybe I'll go back on the app and see if there's an option now. The only thing I saw was, I think these glasses went down by like, I don't know, 30, 40 cents or something like that. This curler actually went up a dollar. So everything else I think was about the same price. But I mean, if it goes down within 30 days and you know, the change add up. I'm not mad about that credit. I'll take it. I'll take it. It might help me get, you know, a dollar or two off the next order. I will take it. Oh, the other thing is the notifications. I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I turned them things off. I turned them off. They send emails. They send text messages. They send push notifications they send push notifications like every i don't know like 30 minutes every 30 minutes and that's the estimate because i really feel like it was more than that i had to cut them off because my phone like i i just told y'all how my work setup is so my phone kept going off and i'm constantly looking at my phone like what is what is going off and i have my i am affirmations that pop up throughout the day that's fine but why why are you pulling my attention over here too much like i i'm focused here what's going on over here y'all i had to turn it on so if you turn on the notifications beware i mean you know how she in like constantly notifies you that's how timu is but timu's a little on crack just a little bit like it's it's a bit much in my opinion um when you place the order i do believe i think you have the option to put your phone number in there i don't know i feel like i put my phone number in there so now i'm getting text messages 
but I think the text messages are like once a day. So I, I, I wasn't too, too mad about it, but I, it also gives you an update on like your package. So I didn't want to shut it down just yet until, cause it'll text you and let you know that your package is delivered. So that was, I, I appreciate that, but um, we can cut that off. We can cut that off because on the app, you have an option for the notification to let you know, like it'll do a push notification and, you know, hit your phone and let you know your order has been delivered. That's cool. Cause I don't have to go into my app to figure out if it's delivered or not. It'll light up on my phone. Cool. I like that. I appreciate that. Um, but nothing else. I, I don't need to know nothing else. All them sales, all them special offers, all them, you just been selected 50% off on all these random, I, I don't need all that. I don't need all that. So be aware that the notifications, um, yeah, they go up and they will light your phone up until you cut them off. However, when it comes to the actual items, um, like I said, I'm good with what I bought. Oh, and I do have a code um, to use the code. You will have to download the app. I will put all the information below in my description box, of course. So you can get a discount off on your first purchase. Um, you know, grab you some things, but make sure you read <laughs> the product page. So you'll end up like me. Other than that, um, yeah, I, I, so far so good. I, I give Timo a thumbs up. So far, so good. If you made a purchase from Timo, let me know. Definitely leave me a comment below and tell me what y'all what y'all purchase like. You know, I'm I'm thinking about the storage and the organization category because you got to be focused because there's so much stuff on there. So like, I'm thinking about that. I might dabble in the self care a little bit. I don't know if I'll be buying too many more like hair products or nothing like that just because I really just. I don't think I need any more. Um, child, I barely got space for what I got, okay? Other than that, I don't really know. I'm, I've seen a few people uh, dabble into the clothing, more of like the um, athleisure type items. I don't, I don't really know yet. I don't really know yet, because if anything, that I have places to go or, you know, I can always go to Shein. So I, I don't know about that, just to, just as of yet. Um, but I don't really know what other categories to like really look into because you gotta be focused because there's so much stuff on there that you'll just end up buying stuff and you'll have a whole bunch of stuff just taking up, you know, space in your house. And we're not doing that over here. We're trying to be organized. This desk is quite cluttered. So that's why I'm talking about organization because I need a team will order in a prayer at this point however if y'all like have found out a certain um i don't know a certain like category is that girl please leave me a comment below and let me know so i can look into that category as well other than that that is all i have for this team haul thank y'all so much for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and become one of my friends and click that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. And that is all for me. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.